Now let's turn towards London's Heathrow Airport, Europe's biggest air hub. It is going through an ownership shake-up and Saudi Arabia is buying a chunk of it. That's right, after football clubs and property, the Saudis will also own part of London's biggest airport. Let me give you the breakup. The Heathrow Airport has multiple stakeholders. The biggest of them is a Spanish firm, Ferro Vial. They own a 25% stake in the parent company of Heathrow. Now they want to sell it. The deal is worth $3 billion. One buyer is French, a private equity firm. The other is the Saudi government. Specifically, Saudi Arabia's Public Investment Fund, better known as PIF. So the Saudi fund is buying a 10% stake in London's Heathrow Airport. And why is this deal important? We'll get to that in a bit. But first, let's tell you about the PIF. What is PIF? The Saudi Arabia Public Investment Fund was established in 1971. In its early years, it managed mostly local funds. But in 2017, things changed. That's when Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman became the de facto ruler of Saudi Arabia. He also took over PIF. And he turned things around, shifted the focus of investments from local to international. And he's personally driving this. Almost every investment made by PIF is supervised by MBS. He's made PIF the world's sixth largest sovereign fund. Its asset portfolio is over $700 billion. And by 2030, they're looking to control assets worth $2 trillion. That's more than most economies, $2 trillion. PIF has 92 companies in their portfolio. It has invested in 13 strategic sectors. Aviation and infrastructure are two of them. And PIF has been increasing its investments in the UK. It is the second largest shareholder in Aston Martin, the British luxury car maker. It has an 80% stake in Newcastle United, an English Premier League club. And now it will own a chunk of London's Heathrow Airport. PIF says investing in Heathrow is in line with its long-term strategy. Now let's come to why this deal is important. Let's look at who the other stakeholders in Heathrow are. The answer is Qatar. Their investment authority owns a part of the airport too. The Qatari fund has a 20% ownership. It is now the largest stakeholder, in fact. Then there's China's investment corporation. It owns a 10% stake in Heathrow. The other major shareholders are Singapore's Sovereign Wealth Fund and the Australian Retirement Trust. They each have almost 11% ownership. And here's another interesting detail. The final confirmation of Saudi ownership is subject to regulatory clearance, meaning other shareholders and stakeholders will vote to approve the takeover. But as things stand, the deal is unlikely to face any hurdles. And why is that? Because Europe's biggest airport is facing a financial crisis. Since the Wuhan virus pandemic, Heathrow has lost revenue worth over $4.5 billion. Passenger, air traffic and cargo numbers are all down and they're yet to reach the pre-pandemic levels. Heathrow is facing a delay in making its third runway operational. Work has been hampered by a lack of funds. The airport is sitting on debt worth 15 billion pounds. That's about 18 billion dollars, US dollars. Global competition is rising. Heathrow faces competition from airports in Asia, which have emerged as preferred transit hubs. So London could very much use the Saudi money. But once the deal goes through, 40% of it will be foreign-owned. 40% of London's Heathrow Airport will be owned by Qatar, China and Saudi Arabia. That's Britain's busiest airport for you.